Hello, my name is Andrew Mays and I run the Microplastics Research Group here in the School of Chemistry at the University of East Anglia. I'd now like to hand you over to my animated self who's going to lead you through our Global Challenges Research Project. We'll start by looking at the special analytical method we've developed for measuring microplastics. To analyse microplastics, we first need to isolate them from our samples. If the sample is a solid, like sand or sediment, we use a special extractor to float the plastic particles to the surface of a dense salt solution. If the sample is a water sample, it can be directly filtered. Once the particles are on the filter, it is stained with a dye called Nile Red. Nile Red sticks to the surface of the particles and makes them glow yellow, orange or red when they are illuminated with a blue light. The dyed sample is photographed on a special imaging rig and the particles can then be counted and measured from the photographs. The vision for the Global Research Translation Award was to assemble the equipment required for our relatively low cost and rapid approach into kits and to make these kits available to partners in Malaysia so they could use it to analyse samples locally in a simple and cost-effective way. The main hub for coordination of the project is based at the Institute of Oceanography and Environment at University of Malaysia Terengganu. This is led by Professor Suhaimi Suratman. He is supported by Network Coordinator Dr Yet Yin He. A second hub is located in East Malaysia at Swinburne University Sarawak based in Kuching. This is led by Professor Moritz Muller from the Aquas Research Group. He is assisted by Dr Changi Wong and Dr Fadrin Jong. Despite the many problems and delays caused by the COVID-19 pandemic, our partners have been extremely busy developing the project in many different directions. The Malaysian teams have collaborated to establish the Malaysian Microplastics Network, MyMIP, which is being used to record events and link to groups and sources of information, such as the training videos produced at UEA. Groups have been actively engaged with the community in beach cleans, collecting waste plastics to improve the environment and raise public awareness of a major problem. Trips have been made to beaches in multiple locations where sand samples have been taken for lab analysis to establish microplastic levels and distributions. Water sampling has been undertaken in rivers and marine areas using both towed nets and bottle-based collection methods. A collaboration has been set up with the World Wildlife Fund Malaysia to collect drinking water samples from across the country to establish whether or not microplastic contamination is an issue. There have been numerous interactions with school groups to raise awareness of plastic waste and its effects on the environment. A plastic recycling and reforming facility is also being set up in Kuching to show school children how plastic can be reused to make new objects. Awareness of the problems of plastic waste and microplastics has been raised through academic talks, writing of blog and newspaper articles, creation of a special microplastics exhibit in the gallery at INOS, contributing video footage for multiple films and presentations, a stakeholders meeting to discuss development of policy around microplastics in Malaysia has also been held. This project has highlighted the benefits of international collaboration and sharing of expertise to solve global challenges.